Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. You'll have to excuse my voice. I'm currently a little bit sick, so my apologies, but I wanted to talk you through these little bad boys. So these are what we use for our flower clouds, which you'll see coming up and you might've seen in that first little snippet. So basically it's just a piece of stone that Tom got from work, pretty handy, but you can find literally just a stone on the ground. And then we use the green chicken wire that is green coated and it's actually squares. It's not actually your classic chicken wire I then use the cable ties to cable tie the chicken wire onto the stone and then this becomes our base for the flower cloud and then all we do is we grab the water picks and that is our water source Something to keep in mind when you are creating these is that when you are cable tying them on, it's just making sure that the little like nib of the cable tie isn't on the base, otherwise it's going to be super wobbly. And with this shape that we were using, this rectangle, because they're a little bit smaller, it can be a little bit of a weight distribution game. Whereas we also have the square ones that we use that are a little bit more balance friendly. So just keeping in mind when you are creating them, put those nibs at the top not underneath. Your jumper looks so cute. I was just thinking that I had the click, I was like, my jumper looks cute like this. <laughs> we love the environment. We love the environment. We love the whales. <laughs> we love the penguins. We love the turtles. We love the birds. <laughs> I haven't seen wax in a while, which is fun. It's really pretty. It's very good quality, which is nice. Oh, Daniel? So usually we try and make as much as we can in the warehouse rather than doing a lot on site so that it's more of just a delivery on site and the larger installs and then the rest is just so easy to drop and run. But for these, because we noticed that we had a lot of delicate flowers, we had the little daisies, some ranunculus with hellebores. There are a lot of little flowers that were the heads were likely going to drip if they're sitting in there for hours and hours and hours. So what we did instead was just played with a first sort of edit, which we actually do with our bouquets as well. Sort of a first edit and then the day of the wedding, we'll come back and we will fix everything up. So 
the next day you'll see us come in and we're just fixing up the flower clouds with more of the delicate flowers ones that we can put in either without water or still in a water source but they're just a little bit more delicate and it's just going to be better for them on the day if we do them on the day if there was a super big time crunch or staff crunch or something like that then we could still make them the day before but we just knew that we had heaps of time there wasn't much to do on site so we decided that it was better off that we were to do just a first little edit in the warehouse and then fix them on site we also did the same thing with the bouquets which we almost always do as well where we just do the first edit come back the next day and then we fix them all up add add a little bit more bulk them out a little bit more and then do the ribbons as well what can happen overnight is that things can shuffle around and equally I think it's just good having fresh eyes if you do all of the bouquets come back the next day you often see different gaps different things you can add more on because you've done the other items so it just makes it really really easy and smooth we love a first edit and then we come back and fix it all up I did you hear the splash? I did <laughs> I did <laughs> So what you'll see here is that we're just popping everything back into the cool room. So behind that uh, wall that Tom built me in the middle of the warehouse, we have the cool room, which actually sits on a trailer, which is really handy. It used to sit out the front of my house. Now I realized that a lot of the music in the background is probably going to get copyrighted by um, YouTube. I wish you could hear this conversation, but basically we were saying how freaking satisfying is it when you finished the day of work and then you go past and you like pick up all of the tools, all of the equipment, and then you get the broom out and like, I don't know, we just get this like weird um, obsession with the end of the day cleaning we just love it it feels so good also we're not sponsored by Bunnings as you um might have noticed there's a lot of Bunnings buckets lying around Liv went to get buckets one day and there were no white ones so there's just a bunch of these random ugly green buckets that are lying around so um not sponsored but Bunnings if you're watching <laughs> Good morning you guys, we meet again in the van, the good news, it's not icy out there, <laughs> which is good to see. Um morning you guys I just got to the warehouse as you can tell I am in shorts I can't believe it um, 
Anytime it is above like 15 degrees today, 17 degrees. And for us in the Southern Highlands where it's normally just freezing cold all the time, that is like shorts weather. My brother in high school, used to use that as an indication as to whether to wear shorts or pants. If it was above 15, he'd wear shorts. If it was below 15, he'd wear pants, which is wild because like 17 isn't warm, but compared to what it has been, and it's just like so sunny and summery and beautiful. So that's a good time, but I'm just gonna do some stuff before Liv gets here. We've just got to fill in the flower clouds that we started making yesterday, just with more of the delicate stuff. Um, Ribbon the bouquets, pack the vans, head to Bendouli. Breakfast of champions.
babe. Just a little bit. Just a wee bit. Any whites in front of it? Yeah. Just like start with whites and then you can. Oh, cute. Oh, 